Well, I got started playing baseball when I was seven years old. Um, we played a lot of stickball in the streets, you know, where I grew up in, in Red Oak, Georgia. And then all of a sudden I ran into T.J. Wilson, who was my first little league coach at seven, who was driving through our neighborhood and I hit his car with a rock. And he really um, got to know me as a kid. He got to know my mom and dad and was able to get me to play baseball with him. First time I ever played organized baseball with T.J. Wilson at the age of seven at Welcome All Park. I got my senior in high school. I had scholarships in football, but baseball was the challenge. I figured I can make it to the NFL in football. But baseball, I wasn't quite sure if I could make it to the pros in baseball. So I took on that challenge, and after that, it was total preparation. And so going through the minor leagues was tough. Um, at one point, I wanted to quit, and um, just wasn't having no luck, made all kinds of excuses. Then all of a sudden, it clicked again, and I went on a tear, went double AA, A, triple A to the big leagues, and the big leagues was all um, I expected. And it's a grind every single day. You play 162 games, and you have to enjoy it. You have to love it. Um, and if you don't, you won't be there long. That's gone too. Back to back. And way out of here. What a way to get his 200th hit, huh? Hit number 200 for Marquis Grissom. Good baseball, right? Pay attention to the game. You might learn something. Proud of you, boy. All right. I said I'm proud of you. Keep working hard. It was right after I retired. I already knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to come back and teach the game and educate the uh, the youth on the game, and really wanted to uh, pay it forward because so many people and coaches, um, neighbors, brothers and sisters, who are um, you know stuck in there and gave us the information on playing the game and was behind us 100% as far as getting us transportation, teaching us the game on and off the field, learning how to play. Because I've been blessed. I've been fortunate to be around some great people who taught me the game of life and baseball. And I want to give another kid that same opportunity. I got that power, boy. I got that power. You're too fast. There you go. Trying to go to the trailer, baby. Don't be a hater. Marquise's training has been uh, very important for me since high school, not even just now. Uh, when I first started playing with him at MGBA, he brought me in and gave me a lot of uh, information that I soak in and use every day. Um, yeah, he's just a big, a big figure in my life. No! Oh, get out of here! If <laughs> you miss that, you miss that. Hey, man. After these boys finish working out, we're going to uh, let them throw a, get a fishing rod and go out there and see if they can catch some fish. And while they're doing that, I'm going to put some fish in the deep fry. I almost feel like it, I'm obligated to it because of my upbringing from my mom and dad who raised 15 kids, um, the love the love that you have as a family and learning how to share and bring a group of people together. There were so many of us, we all came together. Uh, just about every Sunday, whether we went to church, whether we sat around and had a picnic, whether we sat around and just had family love, but that was every single Sunday in our household. So um, being able to have that gift to, to share and, and bring a lot of people together for one common good, I think that's, the, that's the, really the big picture and being able to make change. When you have a, a nugget for a kid or some information to, uh, to advance their baseball IQ or their intellect or just something they did that they never heard before. And you can give them that information and they can have instant positive impact or instant success. And now they believe in me and I believe in them. And now we kind of have this kind of relationship where we can bond a little bit and now we can kind of grow together. And I think that's the key in, in, in teaching and being a coach, a great instructor. It's all about um, connecting and having that relationship. Cause I think that um, teaching without a relationship equal rebellion sometimes break it into the glove, all right? And get your butt down. That way you see it go in the glove, it won't be able to hit your finger, okay? You're all right, baby. You okay? Go on back out there. Come on, hustle up. I got a great uh, group of people in my circle. I could do a lot of stuff, uh, great things. I would say a lot of stuff and great things by myself. But with the group of people, with the relationship, 
we put it all together, and when you get that steam ball rolling, um, it's hard to stop. And uh, we feel comfortable and we love what we do. And uh, I think that's the difference. And then being able to have that passion, um, so many people have that passion and the love for the game of baseball. And that's what we love to do.